Hey guys, it's Angela. Wait a second. I haven't showed you guys my pie recipe yet, or at least my pie crust recipe. Today, guys, I'm going to show you guys where I claim is the best, the best, your go-to. You will not use any other pie crust recipe from here on out. Just going to pie kind of day. Let's Begin. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor! Pie, pie, pie. So the first thing you're gonna need is your flour mixture. You're gonna use some all-purpose flour. Um, got some sugar, some salt in there, and basically a pie crust is flour, butter, or what kind of fat you're gonna use, and water. Everything has to be ice cold because you want to create those flaky, flaky layers. So I have some already pre-cut, super cold chilled butter and some shortening. And that's, guys, a lot of recipes ask for butter. And butter is great. Butter adds flavor. It adds a nice fat content to it. Um, but I feel shortening, shortening adds the flakiness. So in this case, you're adding butter for flavor, but you're using some of the shortening to kind of enhance that flakiness of the crust. So we're gonna be doing that. Cannot substitute the shortening. You've gotta use shortening. And then some super ice cold water with vinegar. What? I know, shocker. Um, you could use vodka too. Vodka is also another great alternative. And I'm talking like a teaspoon of it. Like you won't even taste the vinegar or the alcohol, whichever you use. Um, the theory is when the crust bakes, it actually, um, what's it called? Evaporates in the oven, pushing, you know, it forces the layers of flakiness in the crust. So yeah, you could use vinegar, like white distilled vinegar, or you could use vodka. Those two. Just a teaspoon in your water. That's all you need. Trust me. We're going to mix this dough up. We're going to press the butter as it goes. You just want to really integrate this. You want to work quick. You don't want the butter to melt, but you just want to mold it like this. Add your water slowly until it forms a nice ball and disc. Um, we're gonna refrigerate this dough for about two hours or preferably overnight. Okay, so while our dough is almost done resting, it's time to move on to the filling. Of course, you don't have to do strawberry rhubarb pie. You could use whatever filling you want, um, but it's summer, strawberries are in season, and I got this beautiful pack of strawberries from my local farmer's market, and they're all super, super sweet. And to balance the sweetness of that, I got some rhubarb. And it looks like Swiss chart, right? It's just a very big meaty stick and it actually has leaves on the end. But did you know rhubarb leaves are poisonous? But you could eat the stems and the stems are super sour. So the sourness of the rhubarb, the sweetness of the strawberries are just a matrimony made in heaven. And then, so yeah, so we're gonna dice up our rhubarb, super small, a quarter the strawberries, add some cornstarch, some sugar, and a little bit of salt, and we're gonna let it like sit for 30 minutes because we really want the strawberry juices to get out and mix with the cornstarch. And then we're gonna start filling our pies and start doing the, the lattice work.
had to put my hair up because this lattice work is literally a serious business. So put your hair up because you don't want no hair in your pie. But do whatever lattice work you like. You don't have to do a herringbone. You don't have to do a lace. You could just put the, you could just make pie. Okay, I'm just being a little extra today. So you could follow this or you could do whichever you uh, prefer. Capiche? My dad is playing music in the garage. It's Father's Day today, so I'm not gonna stop him. And then this pie, guys, the crust is super flaky. Filling is super balanced, sour, sweet, tart, buttery from the crust. You got everything you need. Comment down below, what's your favorite type of pie? Do you love fruit pies, cream pies, meringue pies? Let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and like to this video if you love pie like me. Mm. Or well, just me. I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.